and welcome. Today we're gonna be doing our second part of our autumn decor season. So we already saw how we're gonna we were doing our scarecrow in the front. We had Jolly and Justin, and if you want to check that out, go ahead and check the video. It's the video before this one, part one in autumn decor. And now the part two, we're gonna be doing our dining room area. We might be doing two reads as well, and we're gonna be trying to use lots of natural things that we have from the outside. This is the harvest season, so God is giving us so many great things, pine cones, acorns. So I had lots of acorns over here. And these acorns, I just love how they look. They're just so pretty, so beautiful. Um, you can do so many decorations with this, but today it's gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna just paint it a little bit and then put it in my centerpiece. And some of them, I might use it also in the wreath. But always try to have some base and then you can add to that. So we had um, the flowers from the fake hydrangeas. And the fake hydrangeas, I just added then a little stick over here that had the, the pumpkins, the white pumpkins, and I just put it there. And I also put a tiny little scarecrow. And so that looks autumn enough. So you can have something just like that if you would like to keep it. But then I want to have something that everybody can see themselves in the table. So I'm going to just take this and break it out. And we're going to then use this in the base because we're going to be doing a low centerpiece. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our decorations. So let's start with the cute acorns. So as you can see, some of the acorns, they still have the little cap in the top. And that's beautiful that's what we want you can leave them without the cap if you if you would like but I like to see them with their little top with the little hat it just looks super cute with the hat on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna just put the cap on for the ones that do not have their cap so we're gonna do that now we have been drawing many of our acorns that we just glue the cap. So we just have the cap on already in the top. And it has been drying for a few minutes. I used for that just a super glue. I was using this one over here, but it was not working that well. So I went with the super glue. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, spray some glue on top of it and then put some glitter. You can do way more detail. I think that for next year, I will be decor decorating a lot with gold and painting a lot of stuff in gold. Um, but this year, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm using what we have. And using our imagination. And the things that we have in here. So a little bit of sprinkle dust of glitter. You're so cute. You're beautiful. God is amazing. I mean, these things, all of the wonderful details that you see in here are just so incredible. Like this just came from a tiny little seed. It grew a huge tree. And then it gave you all of these wonderful blessings. Now, whenever you collect and harvest some of the acorns, please leave some behind for the squirrels and all their animals that they use them and harvest them for winter. So that's gonna be their food. So just get a few, but not all of them. In the meantime, I also realized that I have this nail polish in gold. So I'm gonna take some of them and actually paint them with the nail polish in gold. So cute. Again, just use the stuff that you have at home. Use that imagination. Go wild. There's always gonna be stuff that you can use for decorating. So I'm just gonna do the bottom with the nail polish. And then leave the cap in brown. Or I might do the cap with the glitter. I haven't decided yet. That's how it's looking. Super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that over here. 
So I realized that I also have a gel, a nail polish that is also in silver. So I did this already um, with the glitter that we were using over here. Then this has been done with the nail polish that I have in gold. And this over here, I'm starting doing them with the nail polish in silver. So looking so far really good. And I'm gonna use then the nail polish for this pine cones. I'm gonna paint some of the outside with the nail polish. And then at the end, just put a little bit of sprinkle of the glitter and we're gonna be super, super, super good, super good. Awesome, they're gonna just, bam, stand out. I'm gonna let them then dry for a few hours because I don't wanna then hassle with them and have all the caps falling. So this is gonna take a while. So this might be a good project to take two days. Just do everything one day of the painting and then the next day then use it then in the centerpiece and in the wreath. So they are done now and I'm just letting them dry. You can see how the gold nail polish are looking and then the silver nail polish over there and then over here in this corner are all the glitter and then these are the cones also with nail polish. So you can just go outside into the yard or in a nice little park and get some acorns and pine cones and just use your nail polish at home and decorate it. Now I made this color so this is gonna be a light orange because I did not have orange paint in here but I did have pink and yellow. So we make, mix this up. Justin helped me out with opening the bottles because they were sealed. I haven't used it in a long time. And now we're gonna go ahead and lightly paint it. I think we got this pumpkins from Target a long time ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this now, paint the whole thing, and I'll show you the end result. So it's the next day and let me just give you a tour. Um, so far we just put two white pumpkins over here. We have a pumpkin in each corner. Um, we have then the sitting area which is where people to remove their shoes. And so we just put an extra pumpkin in here, a little candle always burning. This um, topiaries that we have here, we got them from the apartment. Everything that we have from the furniture is from the apartment still. And so we need to put um, some lights in here because they come with lights but during the travel they all are not working so we need to replace those so that we can have some light so we put some white blankets um, in here a little black, white blanket in here that looks really nice and then more of the pumpkins then in the front we have our skirt girl saying happy fall for anybody that comes in and when you go up you have then a six sack of pumpkins going up the stairs and then in the dining room over here then this is the project that we're working on together and so we finished it up and it's super nice i love how we ended up i'll show you what i'm gonna be doing with the napkins later on but for now this is what we got in the middle, we just use some of our tree branches, oak, and also some maple, and I just put it in the bottom. So once the trees start getting red, then I'm gonna replace that bottom. I kept one of the hydrangeas over here in the middle. I use our little skirt girls, and this is the pumpkins that we painted yesterday. So it's a really nice thing, nice touch. And these are also the cones that we painted together yesterday over here and then you can see more of the cones that we painted over there and you can see that we also have our acorns that we painted also yesterday let me just show you so i just put some of them around it so it's super cute and it's a nice centerpiece that people can talk about 
and then you can tell them hey i did this i did that it's a nice conversational piece and then over here this is the tree that we made together as well in the first um, episode of the decoration so this is how it's looking and i put just a little full um little sign of the scarecrow that is looking super nice so we keep that theme of the scarecrow even though that you can see that is a mismatch so i like to have a mismatch of everything not too 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 much of everything exactly the same it's more of a fun decor but you have that theme this year the theme is the scarecrow and next year it might change and then we have a little uh, led light pumpkin over here which is super cute we have just a sign over here that has been for years with us most of the decoration has been for years with us we did not want to um, buy anything so when you go here in the middle i have our beautiful arrangement that we made and you have the video where we were talking about how you can make a flower arrangement with dry flowers so it's still here with our little nail scarecrow and i just went ahead and put a little thankful sign with some lights so as you can see we do like to put lights in here and i just added a little white pumpkin over there and then just change then the blankets the towels sorry i just changed the towels and i just put something that looks, looks more fall so all the towels has been switched and i just put a little thankful sign over there and i think i also have another sign over here yes i have another sign over here this signs i got them from the dollar store so super cute and then each plate has a little pumpkin as you can see in that side that we have not purchased any furniture yet we need to uh, furnish this side but i'm just gonna share it with you guys and then you have an led pumpkin over here so this i put also a little pumpkin well two pumpkins and as you can see all our pumpkins are different and this is a thankful sign over there as well i think i got it from the dollar store and this pumpkins i think i believe they're all from target and this over here which this table is actually a patio patio furniture we have not went shopping yet so this is gonna go outside but in the meantime we're using it here and what we did is um, put a pumpkin in each one of the plates and i love how it looks with a little pumpkin for every person and then in the middle i just used the pine cones and we decorated them remember that we painted some of them and also the acorns so you can see that some are painted and this was painted with nail polish how cool is that so this is a nice conversational piece as well and i just added some lights and during the night this looks really cute really nice so this is for our table over here and then when you go into this section which is going to be then our um, living room our family room sorry so in the family room what i did is i did a really nice cleanup because i love to clean everything super cool so then we just uh, changed the blankets and now we have then the white blanket over here and then we just change we switched the pillows so now we have pillows that are, are cream color and has a little bit of shimmer that is a, a shimmery silver this is a shimmery um gold and then those are orange so it doesn't seem orange but it is orange and then i put some lights over here which is those two little trees over there and then also the mantle i'm gonna keep this this garland for christmas and so um this garland will stay for christmas and then i'll just replace some of the lights because as you can see i put orange little lights with then the lights that are more for Christmassy, super cute and then we kept then the little pumpkins in here these are always gonna stay here these little houses and it has a candle in there but i'm not gonna put it for burning because i put this cute scarecrow in the middle so i don't want it to burn it and i have my penguins i couldn't let go of my penguins i just love my penguins so they're, they're staying there and so in here we just added then a little stem of a pumpkin 
and then some put some of the maple leaves from our trees put it in there and as I said I'm gonna then replace um, as the season goes on once they start getting more red then I'll replace them with the more red maple trees so this is a nice way to incorporate then what you have outside in here again we have our little topiaries over here and we need to put then those little lights I haven't had the chance to buy the lights but they're gonna be lit up and then we have some pumpkins in here as well So tag on, and if you're not a member of the community yet, go ahead and subscribe. And you can watch all the videos that we have here. We put a lot of different content from health, wellness, um, all of the do-it-yourself, decoration, everything is in here. So come and be part of the family. Thank you all. Love you so, so, so much. I hope that you found some great content here and great ideas for using your imagination and using the resources that you have to do a nice autumn decor. Bye everybody, enjoy the miracles and God bless you.